Karibu jina langu ni Pande 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 la Raia Mkala wa Mwamboze. Walinda lango yani magolikipa wanaendelea kuwa na mchango mkubwa katika finali za kombe la dunia la mwaka huu. Huku ushiriki wao katika mchezo huo ukiongezeka kwa kasi kilinganishwa na kwenye makala ya mwaka 2018 yaliyofanyika nchini Urusi. Ripoti ya kundi la uchunguzi wa kiufundi la FIFA iliyotolewa leo mchana mjini Doha nchini Qatar inaonesha kwamba jukumu la mchezaji nambari tisa pia limeumbuliwa upya. Na habari wetu Isaac Swila anatupatia ufafanuzi kamili kwa mujibu wa ripoti iliyotolewa na kundi la kiufundi wa FIFA adhuri leo kundi hilo likiongozwa na Jürgen Klinsmann aliyekuwa kocha wa Ujerumani pamoja na wanasoka walio stafu walinda lango sasa wana jukumu la ziada kwenye mechi kwani wanahusika zaidi katika mchezo huo uchambuzi wa mechi zilizochezwa ikionyesha wanajiweka kwenye nafasi za mbele uwanjani wakati timu zao zinamiliki mpira and here in this tournament we are over 1300 this shows me the shows us clear that the goalkeeper's impact is uh, is uh, so important uh, the goalkeeper needs to be involved in the in the build up involved in the team is not anymore on the short stop but this is clear in the modern uh, goalkeeper world he needs to be there and he needs to be available also to make the right decision at the right moment yeah wakati huo huo idadi ya mikwaju ya penalti inayokombolewa kwenye kipute hiki kimeongezeka ikilinganishwa na kipute cha miaka minne iliyopita vile anavyoeleza kipa wa kitambo wa Colombia Fred Mandragon but you see here the clear numbers saving rates without uh, shootout saving rates is, is massive here is 56% uh, on the penalties in uh, 90 or 120 minutes and this is a massive increase jukumu la mshambulizi mkuu maarufu nambari tisa pia limeboreshwa kwani uchambuzi unaonyesha kuwa mashambulizi mengi ya timu zinazoshiriki kwenye kipute hiki zinatokana pembeni kama Jürgen Klinsmann anavyoeleza the number 9 you know the force number 9 and how do the team score goals and we saw in this world cup so many uh, tendencies you know trying to get uh, far more of the wings uh, because uh, the middle area is blocked by most of the teams tactically na ni nini haswa kimefanya kikosi cha Morocco maarufu Atlas Lions kuvuma zaidi kwenye michuano hii huyu hapa ni legendary wa Nigeria Sunday Olise you make a team based on the objective of the nation the Moroccan team it to be a very glorious to start looking at Morocco as a defensive team. What Morocco does is get compact and it's a team that when you miss the ball back is not playing Catalanche and then just runs forward and try not to get the ball back. Then they are playing the African football. And what do I mean by that? They pass, if you rush me, and in that same act of when they get the ball back, they have a lot of space to play because they created the space. But at the same time, you saw, it's not a defensive team at all. It's a team that just feels that, okay, I'm going to use the ball. Nikiripoti moja kwa moja kutoka jijini Doha nchini Kata mimi ni Isaac Swila. Na kocha mkuu wa ya Sugar Salim Babu amepongeza utabiti wa kikosi chake baada ya kumenyana kutoka nyuma kwa bao moja na kuwashinda KCB mabao mawili kwa moja katika mchuano wa ligi kuu ya soka FKF uwanjani Kasarani huku ikiwa KCB walichukua uongozi katika dakika tisa kwa bao la Francis Kahiru lakini Nzoia ikasawazisha kupitia kwa Boniface Kweyu kwa penalti dakika tatu baadaye. Kweyu alifunga mchezo dakika 33 na kumwacha Babu akiwa na furaha kwa mko mzuri ukiangalia tulikuwa down so nikamwambia watulie tu wasipige pressure juu pia walifunga dakika 8 mapema pia uzuri wakakampogea mapema tukaipoleza mapema ikakuwa rahisi pia ndio mcheza but lakini nimefurahishwa sana kwanza vile wamecheza kwanza ukiangalia vile tumejituma na ball possession pia hatujitumi tu bure bali tunacheza pia ball pia kocha msaidizi wa KCB Godfrey Odwar alilalamika kuwa majeraha yaliwaponza we came from uh, bandari and of course you know playing in, in Mombasa is is kind of uh, tricky and uh, we suffered some uh, injuries here and there so we have some players who had some knocks we hope uh, that uh, we give them good rehabilitation to be ready for this match okay they gave their best but uh, I think uh, we we needed to give uh, uh, new players uh, uh, more playing time today. So ya sasa wanajipata katika nafasi ya pili kwenye msimamo wa ligi huku ikiwa mechi ijayo weekend watakutana na Gormahia. Hayo pembeni. 
Kocha Ulinzi Starlets Joseph Wambua amewapongeza wasichana wake kutokana na ushindi wa mabao mane kwa bila dhidi ya Transo ya Falcons Jumamosi iliyopita na kusema umefufua matumaini yao ya kunyakuwa ligi kuu ya soka wanawake. Kila wakati ushindi ukipatikana inaleta ile morali kwa timu ni kitu muhimu zaidi. E, so imeleta ile motisha imepeana morali mingi sana. Wambua aidha ameeleza kufurahishwa kwake na juhudi za mshambulizi Ned Atieno aliyerejea mchezoni baada ya kuwa nje kwa muda akijuku mika kwenye kamati ya mpito ya FKF. Eh nimefurahia zaidi pia nimemkaribisha zaidi kwa timu kwa sababu ni mchezaji mzuri na kila kochi yote anapenda kuwa na mchezaji wa aina kama hiyo. So I think Ned been one of the best strikers we have in our country na pia kama coach kupata hiyo nafasi kuwa na yeye kwa timu yangu na shukuru tena zaidi. Kwenye matokeo mengine Zitex Parks waliwalaza wadadi ya mabao matatu bila jibu Ugandi Games Cambridge wakati wenyeji Kisumu All Stars wakiangushwa moja mtungi na Nakuru City Queens katika uwanja wa Moi Kisumu. Tukibadilisha uzi mabingwa wa kitaifa wa mchezo wa chess Daktari Victor Ngani na Mihul Gohil wanamenyana katika mfululizo wa michezo minne kuamua nani mbabe kati yao katika hoteli ya Bomas hapa Nairobi. Hafla hiyo inafanyika kama utangulizi wa michuano ya kitaifa ambayo itafanyika baadaye mwezi huu um, this is an important match we are preparing for the national championship but in addition to that there's been a bit of a supremacy battle uh, between Mehul Gohil and myself and this match sort of will determine uh, how you know who, who can reign supreme I am meeting one of the top canyons so Victor Gani uh, my expectation is to wipe him out Wandalizi wa mechi hiyo wakiongozwa na Brian Kidula wanatarajia mechi kali kati ya wachezaji hao wawili bora wa mchezo wa chess nchini. Now the purpose of this match is uh, just to see them challenge each other for supremacy battle. This ego involved. They want to see who is the best between the two. But the fans are watching and waiting. So it's important that they play all the four games. Wakati huo timu ya KCB Chess ilishangaza klabu ya Eastland Chess tano kwa bila katika mechi yao ya mwisho wa msimu huu na kushinda taji la tatu mfululizo la ligi kuu ya mchezo wa chess nchini. KCB ilipata jumla ya alama 43 na Nairobi Chess Academy and Club wakapata alama 29. Tumaliza kimataifa ambapo mshambulizi wa klabu ya Chelsea nchini Uingereza Armando Broya alipata jeraha baya la goti la kulia wakati wa mchezo wa kirafiki waliofungwa bao moja bila na Aston Villa mjini Abu Dhabi hapo jana huku kocha Graham Potter akikirikua lilit ya wasiwasi mchezaji huyo wa kimataifa wa Albania mwenye umri wa miaka 21 aliumia alipogongana na Ezri Konsa wa Villa katika kipindi cha kwanza. Broya ambaye amecheza mechi 12 msimu huu aliachwa kipiga kelele kwa maumivu kabla ya kutolewa nje kwa machela. Chelsea wataendelea na msimu wao wa ligi kuu mnamo Disemba 27 kufuatia mapumziko ya kombe la dunia watakapokaribisha Bournemouth katika uwanja wa Stamford Bridge. Hapo na dia komeo. Nakushukuru sana kwa kusikiliza. Jina langu ni Pande Pande. Pande la Rayam Kala wa Mwamboze.